Hello. This video is to discuss the uh, the software application uh, for the segmentation of the yarn cross section uh, using the Chanvis segmentation model, uh, which can be found uh, can be found here under the program uh, folder uh, in chapter four. And again, as we mentioned earlier, you can run it by typing "run me." And once you do that, the program will start. And the program actually starts by asking about the yarn cross-sectional image. And you can find some of the examples here. And I'll just choose this one. Okay. And as you can see, this is the interface for the program. For the program. And uh, the the image of the of the yarn cross-section is shown here, and it's surrounded with this uh, rectangle that you can control through these uh, elements here, so I can uh, assign the exact area of analysis. Once you do that, and you have this selected here, it changes uh, segmentation model uh, or active contour, and the parameters here, uh, you need just to set these two parameters. These two parameters are the number of iterations that uh, the program use for um, uh, uh, for the numerical iterations, and uh, as you will see now, uh, uh, you need like a few number of iterations to find the contour of the yarn. Uh, which, uh, since the program starts from outside in, then uh, to to decide the contour for the yarn, then you can uh, choose the other number of iterations for the inside out, and this will be clear once we hit apply. Uh, uh, the analysis here. So as you can see, now this is the number of iterations, and now the program uh, is approaching uh, um, the the outside contour of the yarn, and now uh, it is uh, determining the uh, the active contours of the fibers, and the number of iterations will go up to this uh, to this uh, level. Of course, uh, it my uh, the, the program can reach earlier. So now, for example, it's 1,000 and it's uh, it's almost done. But it will go to the end, uh, which is 1,200 iterations. Once you do that, uh, the results will show up here. This is these are the final results, and this is a graphical uh, uh, representation of the uh, fiber or the uh, fiber distribution across the radius of the yarn. So from zero at the center of the yarn to the outside uh, 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 diameter or radius of the, in this situation we are talking about the radius, uh, here uh, expressed in pixels. And uh, for example, uh, the way of this uh, and how it is calculated it, uh, by selecting some uh, uh, differential layers, as you can see them here, for example here. So at this point, for example, at this distance from the center, this is the distribution of the fibers across the uh, 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 the yarn diameter. This is bigger diameter, and how how uh, like how the fibers are distributed there. So uh, uh, here, this is the uh, radial packing density, and the effective uh, uh, packing density. Uh, according to the literature, is, do, is calculated at around 0.15 or 0.17 uh, 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 of radial backing density, and you get the uh, the active uh, uh, or the effective uh, uh, radius or the effective diameter. Once you do that, you have here these uh, all these images, so you can find also the the binary image or an overlay. Of the uh, binary on the top of the uh, of the actual or the original image of the yarn, and once uh, you do this, you get the each fiber, uh, uh, the contour of each fiber is, cal is uh, considered here, and you can see the different cross sections of the each fibers. So some fibers have some elliptical uh, shape, some of them. Uh, uh, round uh, shape, some uh, so they they look different, and each fiber uh, is determined, and also 
according to the distribution of the of the mass of the fiber, uh, uh, the uh, the the center of each uh, fiber will be uh, assigned. This makes some difference between the traditional method of calculating the uh, packing density, where a human operator uh, starts to look at the image and uh, assign the center of each fiber uh, uh, manually. In fact, this method uh, uh, is in also uh, included here in this program, uh, uh, the calculation method. And the way it works is by replacing each fiber here with regardless of the uh, of its original uh, 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 like diameter and how the uh, cross-sectional shape of the fiber uh, looks like uh, it will replace each fiber with a circle with a uh, cylinder uh, with a cylinder actually so uh, regardless of the actual shape of the fiber so it is very important at this time to uh, to get these parameters here for the calculation uh, uh, to be correct. So you need to get the uh, yarn count, the fiber uh, fineness, and the material of these fibers. This, uh, this material here is uh, viscose-based material, and uh, as you can see here, the, uh, the density changes directly by choosing the, um, by choosing the, uh, the fiber uh, material. So it is very important also to set uh, this magnification, the magnification ratio or the calibration for the each uh, uh, image, how many pixels uh, and how uh, representing one micron or, and so on. And it is very crucial uh, uh, in the accuracy of the final results here to get this far, these numbers uh, correct. So uh, now let's say we uh, we determine the mass uh, center of each fiber here, and we need to apply the other method. So all what we need to do is just select the method, and as you can see here, each fiber was replaced by, with uh, with a circle, and all the fibers have the same diameter again based on these calculations, and this is the center of the whole yarn as calculated and these are the parameters calculated. So the program also can be used to uh, uh, to read uh, uh, some uh, uh, coordinate files like uh, with uh, that's similar to the traditional method of calculation so you can just read the coordinate text file for, from here. But uh, before going there I'll just need to make a comment here on the uh, this program can save any current image, anything that you see here, okay, uh, uh, you can save it. Uh, and as you see here, see the, uh, the overlay of the, the calculated method, the calculation, and the actual one. So here, for example, this fiber here, how it looks like and how it is replaced with a circle. So you can just export the results, and you, when you export the results, you get two files. One file that includes these parameters, and the other file includes the uh, uh, the uh, coordinates. It is a coordinate file for the uh, the used uh, picture. So, if you have this uh, coordinate file uh, beforehand, you can just read uh, read it. Uh, for example, let's say one of these uh, files. I think includes the coordinates. So. Let's say this uh, this one. Okay, all right. So um, so it's not the, the whole picture now uh, for some reason. But anyway, uh, the important thing here is how the fibers are really uh, condensed. Uh, this is not uh, uh, this, the 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 case actually. Uh, it might just be something that has to do with this magnification. Uh, uh, of course, the magnification for each fiber or for each picture should be considered. So let's say uh, we make it 0.8, for example, and do the calculation. And um, so you'll get something, uh, of, of course, t totally different. 
okay so these parameters determine exactly uh, you have to decide exactly each of these the the material used and everything so with this i hope you can try uh, uh, this um, uh, program with other uh, files or with any other images so something like this and you can just try it and and see how it goes all right so thank you so much for your time and i hope you find this interesting